Sherry. Hello, Sandy. <laughs> How you doing? Good. How's it been so far? Awesome. Describe the season. Amazing. I'll be back next season. <laughs> <laughs> doing, what, what event Mentoring are you going to be doing? Mentoring for Rome. Right. Okay. And along the way, it just became something so much more than that. It was just, I never, I, I wanted to get people, um, you know, running and just learn, have them learn to love running. And then along the way, with everyone that I've met and um, like tonight at the Inspiration Dinner, you just learn so much about it. You go, you know, this is such a great, great cause. What keeps you going? Event after event, group after group, what keeps you going? I don't want to talk about it. You can, but it's okay. I'm just crying. Um, what keeps me going is you guys. It's a challenging job, it's a lot of work, a lot of long hours. But the team really motivates me and all the stories that you guys bring. <laughs> Stop that! <laughs> so, Melissa, why are you doing this race? I am doing this race to raise money for Leukemia Lymphoma Society because I am a leukemia survivor. And I owe my life to all the people doing this race. Dean, Selena, Mike, Sandy. So, fantastic. So, thank you everyone. I appreciate it so much. My cousin's five year old daughter, Brent Smith. Um, was diagnosed with leukemia in May this year, 2002, and I'm running for her. How did it? Do? How was your experience so far? Amazing, life changing. Right. <laughs> um, I wouldn't change it for the world. Great. It's inspiring for sure, and so much fun. Uh, my little cousin was diagnosed at 18 months, and that was 13 years ago, and he's been in remission for seven years. So wow. It's kind of my way of giving that. I'm doing team in training um, because my brother was diagnosed with leukemia in March of 2010. Unfortunately, he lost his battle three weeks ago. So, sorry to hear about that. So you're running in his memory then? Yeah. And how's the experience been so far? Great. Great. I raised um, over $11,000. Wow, you're one of the top fundraisers, weren't yeah. you? Well, congratulations. Thank you. Great. In memory of my sister, who passed away 11 years ago from leukemia. Um, and tomorrow actually happens to be my 29th birthday. And I started running in January, and I just thought it would be a great cause. Yeah. That's great. And how's your experience been so far? Great. I am doing this to honor my friend Penny, who died of cancer in January. Aww. And tonight's the first night I actually cried for her. And what did it take for you to get here? A lot of hard work on my own. Yes. My parents supported me all the way. You guys saw them yep. when they arrived yesterday. Yes. I'm so glad they're here. Great. Very special. I am doing this run for my fiance Melissa. Uh, she really wanted to do uh, the, the Nike Women's Marathon. She was diagnosed with uh, leukemia in 2008. What did it take for me to get here? Uh, a lot of patience, perseverance. Grandma had leukemia when I was in high school and didn't tell anybody and just beat it by herself. And then I was going to run it last year with my cousin. Uh, in her honor, then we both chickened out, and then she died of brain cancer in March. Sad. And then, uh, so now I'm doing it in honor of her for being such a true. And what you did get here was a lot, a lot of running, <laughs> and a lot of fundraising, and a lot of body glide. Uh, running is cheaper than therapy. Well, that's basically what it is. Perfect. It's, uh, it's been really good therapy. What did it take to get here? Oh, a lot of hours, a lot of sweat, uh, a lot of long Sunday runs, uh, a lot of early Saturday nights. I'm doing the run I joined Team in Training in 2009 because that year was the 10th year of um, 10th anniversary of my sister's death. I lost my sister to leukemia in 1999. The two came together, the 10-year anniversary, and my desire to do something in memory of Andrea and a uh, chance to do something that would support other people. Uh, on a more practical level, it took a lot of uh, miles, a lot of training. So why are you running the marathon? Because these guys said I have to. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Don't be a baby. Don't be a baby. I do what I'm told. <laughs> and what did it take to get here? Let's sweat tears. No, it's the best. Team training is the best. Don't miss it. I'm running for my papa. My dad's got an unhodged lymphoma. He is also turning 80, so I'm running for my dad while he's alive. And what did it take to get here? Get here, it, it took a lot, but uh, it was fundraising was fine. It was great. No problem getting it done. Um, I raised over 5,000. I met really cool people. Uh, 
beginning I was with this lovely necklace, of course. And I'm running it on behalf of my doggy who passed away. From leukemia. My Canuck Place kids too have passed away, so I'm running in memory of them. Awesome. And what did it take to get here? Sweat, tears, and blood. No, no blood. Uh, no, that's true, actually, chafing blood. <laughs> Lifelong friends that uh, you want to see again Sunday mornings at eight in the morning. So yeah, you just you know it's just it's an amazing race. I'm happy to be here. It's, um, what it took? Uh, a lot of early mornings, a lot of uh, planning. I'm doing this for my friend Chris. Um, he had AML and he's currently in remission. Uh, for me, it took. Um, I actually took a job in the States, so a lot of training on my own, prompting from Andrea and Kelly to like keep going and stick with it, and the fundraising was crazy for three events in one year. I lost my dad to cancer six years ago. It wasn't, it wasn't uh, leukemia or lymphoma, it was brain cancer, but cancer's cancer, cancer sucks. Yeah. A lot of commitment, a lot of, yeah, I can do it, I can do it, I can do it, and just kept persevering to get, to get here. One of my best friends, her sister had breast cancer, and she actually lives in San Francisco, and she, she kicked cancer's butt. I'm doing this for her whole life. One, two, three, go!